So what does it take to become a hurricane hunter? Well, we asked the experts. If you're a, if you're a, a, a kid, and you want to become a hurricane hunter. You love weather, but maybe you don't want to be in the office every day. You want to don the blue flight suit. You want to have the valor. You want to have the dedication. How do you do it? What's the path? Learning everything you can about whatever you can, getting the best grades in school, and then translating that to a four-year university with a major that's uh, related to NOAA sciences. I myself was enlisted in the Air Force and I was fixing airplanes and it looked like they were having more fun flying them and I was having fixing them. I also had an environmental science background so I put that together and found out about the NOAA Commission Corps and really engaged. I went out on the ships, I learned about the ship side and eventually translated here to the Hurricane Hunter mission. That's fascinating. Well, what was your path? When I joined, the deal was, hey Jason, you want to be a no commission Corps officer? Congratulations, you will go to sea for two years somewhere. After that, we'll see what happens. So underway on the NOAA ship, Mother Freeman, and it's a fishery research trawler in the Bering Sea. Have you seen Deadliest Catch? Oh my gosh, it's a right. giant waves and awful weather. Oh, that's, that's my truth for two years. The whole time, I'm like, hey, this is really great. Thanks for the memories, I want to fly now. Okay, Jason, we have a spot available for you. It was competitive selection, go fly. So minimal experience to fully qualifying with FAA licenses, where um, private pilot, multi-engine, commercial licenses, instrument flying ratings. So you develop those skills and competencies in flight school, report to our uh, agency here at the No Aircraft Operations Center and go operational. So you say, hey, I've got this license now. I've got my FAA endorsement. Put me on a plane. If they have an opening, well, maybe they'll give you a chance. I, I, you know what? I am such a fan of, I, I refuse to be an obstacle. It, it really uh, upsets me when someone says, oh, I can't, I shouldn't, you know, I won't. Why, why not give it a shot? If you don't try, you'll never know, right? That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. So you can do it. So you can have a dream, follow it, and achieve it. You can and you should, yes. Whatever gets you excited. Right? Whatever gets you there, that passion, gets you waking up in the morning, say, you know what, I can't wait to do this. Charge out, move out, and get after it. There's uh, enormous amounts of opportunity, but it does require a lot of flexibility. Uh, as Jason implied with the going out on the Bering Sea, you have to be willing to do anything, anytime. When the agency has an issue that comes up, when we have a storm that's off the shore, uh, and we have to go out and deploy to Barbados, we have to go now. So it does require some flexibility. Are there any family things you've run into along the way as far as like, honey, they've deployed me to Alaska. See you in a few months. <laughs> I was just in Alaska a couple weeks ago for about three weeks. And before that, I was in Hawaii for about a month. So my three-year-old and five-year-old at home definitely, you know, they, they required some extra care and feeding from mom. So it definitely takes a takes a village. Uh, we have a lot of people here locally. We have a great community here in Lakeland and everybody That's takes true. care of everybody. You flew here with us a couple of years ago and one key thing that I picked up as soon as I came into this organization is that everybody here performs at a really, really high level and that's why we can do it, uh, this mission, with such a lean uh, manning profile. There's not a whole lot of people here but everybody here performs at a really, really high level so it makes us uh, a great value proposition for uh, the, the taxpayer. This is just to clear it up with with the public's impression of the two wings, if you will, of hurricane hunting. You've got the Air Force side, and then you've got the Department of Commerce, uh, NOAA side. Mm -hmm. what's, what's the main difference? You work together, but why one path versus another path? I see us as a team. I don't see us as diversion. I see us as a team, where on any given storm, you have a massive federal response, and all determined by tasking from the Hurricane Center. So you have the Air Force Reserve in there, NOAA's in there, either in their P3s or Gulfstream 4, NASA can be involved as well. Any given storm, it's all one team trying to save life and property.